Our shops and supermarkets are filled with products that are packaged in plastic, produced using blow moulding technique. The plastic blow moulding process is the most popular method used to produce hollow containers. Impact uses a variety of raw material during the blow moulding process, depending on the container application and its expected performance. The raw material in granular form is fed via a hopper into the feed barrel, which is heated to help melt the granules and evenly disperse the colorant, called master batch. A molten tube of plastic, called a parison, is extruded from the machine head and cut with a hot blade. It is then captured by a water-cooled mold, and a blowing nozzle is inserted into the parison. A blast of pressurized air is blown into the parison, forcing the hot plastic to take on the shape of the mold. This process is called blow molding. Once cooled and solidified inside the mold, the machine opens the mold and the brand new container is ejected. The container is transferred to a deflasher that removes the excess known as the tail. This excess is conveyed to the beginning of the process to be ground and reused. This is known as a closed loop system. Once the jars leave the machine, they are then conveyed to a trimmer which removes the remaining excess, called the lost head, which in turn is collected and added to the closed loop system. With the tail and lost head removed, the plastic jar or container is now in its final form. Bottles are subjected to a leak test whereby controlled airflow is released into the bottle. Should the bottle contain any leak-related defects, the pressurized air will escape and the bottle will be rejected. This bottle will then be introduced back into the closed loop system. The containers are now ready to be packaged and sent on to the manufacturers of the products who will fill the new container.